Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Partshala. My name is Maninder Tawar. Today's topic is auto scaling. This is the feature which auto scales up and scales down the resources of our application servers. How it is helping to big businesses or saving their applications. If we talk about e-commerce platform which gives us a major sale every year. So user count or we can say a traffic load will be on higher side in comparison of normal days. To manage this load, we use auto scaling features where we define some policies. If our resource utilization goes beyond this limit, then it should automatically deploy additional resources to manage the load. So in this video, we will see how we can set up uh, auto scaling for our application servers. This is our AWS console where I have one EC2 there's a test application is running on that server and it is behind load balancer if you want to learn about load balancer and how to create a target group how you can add your instance in load balancer you can watch my last video where i have explained about load balancer this is the dns name of load balancer let's try it if our application is working with this dns name so this is our application test application i have created just to showcase this is hello cloud parshala now we have to create auto scaling group so you have to go into auto scaling group here you have to give the name of your group web ag here you can create a template which you want to use during the creation of new ec2 instance let's create a template this is web temp so version is not required here i would suggest to use your existing ec2 instance image so you don't have to configure anything if your application is running on existing instance you just create an image of your existing ec2 instance and use it here so i have explained in my last video how you can create an image of your existing ec2 instance you can select computing resource here what is your requirement i'm using existing key pair existing security group and that's all so our template is ready let's go back to the auto scaling part this is our template which we're going to use to create auto scaling group here you can mention the custom count of cpu or memory you want in your new instance or you can simply go with the instance type so i'm mentioning here like minimum cpu count is one maximum should be four similarly for ram let's go to the next part so we have already created a load balancer if you have any existing load balancer you can use an existing load balancer if you want to create a new one you can go with the new one so i'm going with the existing load balancer that i have created for my application server here i have shown you the application is already running on this let's go to the next part desired capacity is one minimum capacity is one and maximum capacity you can select if you want to create more than one ec2 instance you can select here so maximum capacity is this one by one up to four vms it can create the maximum capacity i'm defining here is four so maximum four ec2 instance this policy can create scaling policy is what you can define here when you want to create ec2 instances so you can define here whenever your cpu utilization goes beyond 50 percent or 70 or 80 percent as per your requirement you can define it here i'm defining 80 percent whenever my cpu goes above 80 percent it will scale up a new instance this is the notification option this is optional if you want to get an alert whenever this policy will be triggered you can add a notification here but right now i'm skipping this part no tag required here you can review it load balancing 
L check, additional setting, group size, and scaling policies. Let's create the group. It will take some time. Okay, here you can see the configuration. In desired capacity is one, so it will automatically create uh, additional in one instance, and maximum is four. But it will create more instances whenever the utilization cpu utilization of our instance goes above 80 percent let's see the ec2 instances here you can see it has created a second instance and we have mentioned that should be a part of same load balancer right so it will automatically add this machine under same load balancer let's check it here you can see two targets it will be healthy in some time because our vm is in uh, initializing state here our instance is ready and this dns will be same for all and our application will balance the load on both the vms that's all for today's video we'll connect in next video with new interesting topic till then enjoy this video thank you guys